don't know if you're going to see this. There's a man actually standing up in the back of this trailer here in front of us. Just, I can't tell you how dangerous that is on this road. I think he's just having a fag. He's just having a fag, yeah. <laughs> We've just parked here because I'm going to go to this little parade of shops here. So we have in this centre, I said about supermarket, uh, cosmetic store, hairdressers, and then we'll take you to the top section as well um, where you can see there's all the big hardware stores. We're just in the McDonald's car parks, so it's really easy to park here. There's also electric car meter, top up, what do you call it? Electric charging point. Oh, cheeky boy's awake. <laughs> you awake? You're going to come shopping with mummy and daddy? Yeah. yeah. So we're just waiting for daddy. He's gone into Practica, which is one of the stores that we talk about a lot on our channel. Um, when people commenting and saying, oh, where'd you get this and that? So Practica's like a huge, um, I think it's German. Um, we've got Practica and Practice. They are kind of, if you like, B&Q type stores. It's absolutely humongous. You've got gardenware, furniture, obviously DIY, paints, kitchens, bathrooms, plumbing, electrics, absolutely everything. Um, at the moment, um, in Bulgaria, we can't... Well, we, they have this green certificate, so anywhere any space that's 300 square meters or larger you need a green certificate to get in which means you've had a negative test and vaccinated and all that stuff so we're not part of that we don't want to keep testing every time we want to go into a shop so what we have to do we're not allowed to walk around the shops but we can queue outside and they'll go in and get something for us so Lee's queuing there to get the wheelbarrow which means he can move some of the blocks that we've recently got so we just had a result the lady let us all go in so maybe the rules are getting slightly uh, reduced now which would be lovely um, so yeah we had a man managed to go and walk around the store picked up a cart so he can like a trolley for, for his cement blocks and yeah this is the store practica if you want to look up online so we've done the shopping and I just wanted to add, just to make you laugh, we went to Practica, that store, to get a wheelbarrow <laughs> and they've got all the parts of wheelbarrows but they haven't got the wheels. <laughs> They're waiting for the wheels to be in stock so <laughs> totally pointless. We was like, we'd like to buy a wheelbarrow in there but where are the wheels? And they just went, no. Nope. <laughs> so <laughs> they've got loads of surplus really, really parts. Help, really helpful. Really helpful. But it was quite amusing, so we bought a cart instead, like a like a, a trolley. And that'll be useful in the future if we're removing appliances and whatnot. So um just so you know that is Lee driving, he's done something strange to his hair. <laughs> <laughs> and uh um, yeah, so we're just gonna nip back to the house, uh drop off the cart, maybe just spend a bit of time there if husband's asleep gives us some time to do something together. We'll see. Even on a cold grey day. I'm not sure we're ever going to get over this this view here. It's just lovely. So a uh, little man's asleep in the car and we're just um, we're just going to have a little mock-up on the floor of the units, the, the blocks to make a bed. So we're just sort of getting a feel for what size we want. So um, <laughs> raised bed. Not a not a not a sleeping bed. No. Okay, so we're just sort of I'll go down. I know. In terms of a depth, you don't want deeper than that, do you? Yeah, because then I can reach the middle of the bed. So yeah. meter yeah so leaves saying then these car
column ones will be in the middle of the straight so that they provide extra support in case the soil wants to push out. Yeah. So that's halfway, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I think that looks good. And how high are we going? Yeah. Obviously, it's not, I don't mind bending down a bit. Oh, of course, there's one here. So, yeah, one, obviously, then. Two, what's this? Five. Sorry, I need to just show. I'm just sort of trying to work out where I'm standing and the height. Yeah, that's too high. Yeah, four or three is fine. Yeah. And then you've got it, so it'll be one, two, three. So, obviously, they'll be. Staggered. So, here will be a half brick Okay, cool. God, it's bitter today. My hands are frozen. Do um, I still think that's going to be quite low? But you know, no, actually, do you know what? Yeah, if you do it four, we're going to the risk of it falling over, aren't we? So three well, high. Over, no, actually, three high. high is perfect. So say you've got loads of salads, and you just want to come and pick a few leaves off for your for your lunch. That yeah, perfect height. Okay, maybe we're spending too much time on something that's very. Really <laughs> Uh, the wood and the, the soil. Straight away. Mm. We don't want it lingering around because it'll stay like the other house. Yeah. It'll sit there for a year. You want to get it? You see, Lee looks a bit uh, clean shaven there. It's a bit shaved. Do you want to show him your head? It's all gone. <laughs> and I'm feeling it now, it's colder. And I've gone for a bit of a colour too. So we've, we've been working on our hair this morning. So that is our um, footprint then of what the size of the, the raised beds yeah, are going to be. Big. Yeah, big. it's probably about 10 foot by 4 foot, isn't it? Uh, I'm not good with measurements. Internal, I would say it's a metre by... 6 foot. Over 2. 7 foot. Yeah. It's probably yeah. 3 foot by 7 foot. Okay. Internal. Yeah. Roughly. Yeah, great. And... Um, Obviously, we'll try and eventually make it look pretty on the outside. I know that some people online have actually used these holes as well. These holes to plant things in. But then I was also reading about if the roots are really close to the cement, then there is a potentially a leaching issue. But then there's lots of debate online about whether that's even a problem or not. But we will put in a, a waterproof membrane on the inside. Leaching is only going to change the pH of the soil, which we can buffer. So yeah, but I'd rather just... Did you hear the gunshots in the background? The hunters are out today for the deer. But yeah, this will be an amazing size um, bed. What are you thinking? Three or four to start? Three high. Three high. I don't know how many of them. Oh. Three to start, maybe? Yeah, maybe three to start, because not we're not keen gardeners. We, we're learning all this, so we'll, we'll see how that see how that works. Little one's awake. He's still a bit zoned out. You won't get smiles from him when he's just woken up. So uh, Lee's just bringing in the cart that we bought from the shop because there's no wheelbarrow. He's just got one of these um, trolleys for now, which was 70 lev. So what's that, 30 quid? 35 quid? Yeah. And we were just discussing these sort of lovely stones that you see on the floor here. See, Lee's going to be taking up all this floor and, and putting down hardcore and concrete and levelling it out. So we actually want to be able to take these out and reuse somewhere else. It's really hard to find nice flat stone like this. It's not really expensive. So, well, it's, it's the size as well. The size. Yeah, like this one over here. That's that's got to be three feet across. Yeah. The ones that we're finding that are thin enough only seem to be like like this. 
this sort of size. Tiny. Yeah, nothing like this. Yeah, so these big ones are just lovely. So whether we end up using them as a floor in the bathroom or stepping stones in the garden, they're obviously gorgeous. I want to make a feature of them. So we'll be getting these up and reusing them somewhere else. Yeah, we might find some more as we go along. So, yeah, useful to be able to reuse those things. Yeah, I'd rather not bury them. Mm. It just seems like such a waste. Of course, of course. It's such a waste to bury it. It's all character. And we've got a load under this path as well. Yes, yeah. Just come over to the old uh, old chicken and pig sty. Look at this cute door. I don't know if you can tell how tiny that is. It's just so adorable. It's so cute. Um, so what Lee was saying is when we take down all of these structures we are going to use the old mud bricks to uh, sort of wet down and get, give us some um, fresh mud to then patch up the front of the barn outside. Is that, have I said that correctly? All of all of what all of this that's on the wall. So, are we going to pat? You're not saying take this off. You're saying, sorry, I'm I'm just trying to understand. So we're going to get we're going to use the old mud bricks, water them down, turn them back into a slurry, and then repatch the walls here, for example, which will be the outside of our bedroom. And then the front of the property, the actual exterior, and the side. So anywhere that needs new rendering, I'm just walking outside. So you see uh, all the patches here, and then obviously then we would re-render uh, it with the lime uh, paint wash. Am I making sense, Lee? Lime paint, is that right? Yeah, we're gonna use a lime wash. Uh, yeah, we want it to look as authentic as possible yeah really so, yeah yeah going to use old techniques for the outside inside we're going to use new but we'll mold them together properly cool should be good cool Well, it's Sunday and it's sunny and I thought let's show you the difference on a sunny day compared to a, a grey day. And it, you couldn't hear a pin drop. Okay, so it's Sunday, we come back to the house as it's sunny and it's my day of no work and Hudden's asleep in the car, so all these things equal. Quick, get as much done as possible. It was so cold this morning and now the sun's out, it makes such a difference. Lee's just going to move um, this old a bit of fence to actually create a little ramp so it's really easy for him to walk in and out of the garden. I feel really useless. I forgot the tripod so I need to hold the camera. What a shame, I can't, I don't, I can't now lift anything. And there's only one set of gloves. And there's only one set of gloves too. I do get my, I do get stuck in when I can, I, I do. Stuck in. <laughs> well, I've, I've normally got the... Stuck in the mud, it's <laughs> stuck as you get. <laughs> I'm not filming you do it now. Oh. That's good, well done. Just the way to get up. Well done. As long as it's not going to, it's safe isn't it, yeah, there you go. Nice, that's it, a lot easier. So that's a lot easier. So what's your plan, Lee, while, while I'm filming? Um, You're going to get the free... Some of the blocks that we used yesterday to kind of make our design. Yes. I'm going to try and get at least one sort of set. Set so, bed. So we can just put them over there and yeah. we can dig a small channel yeah. for, the, for the bottom ones to go in. Probably not today, but we'll, we'll move some of those. That's it. And then we can just envisage the space and... and, just, and just so exactly what we have yes so uh, how many more we need to order because it was sort of a a guest job wasn't it it was it was guest because we didn't know 
the size that we wanted. Mm, mm. Uh, we really had to visualise it to see. So. Yeah. But yeah, we've definitely got enough. Cool. Okay. Well, I will help you move these bricks. I'll switch off for a minute. No, you won't. I'll move one brick. Then what he's talking about? <laughs> he's just filling up the the little trolley. But um, I've just come into the garden to work out where we'll start. So I'm going to just start here. We're going to build one up here just to get a feel for them. Maybe how many we can actually fit along the whole area. Go on, babe. So yeah, the vines. So that's what's annoying for Lee. Is like constantly dusting. Yeah, I'm going to get rid of that as well. well yeah, really be careful because it's slippery where you see my footprints have been. Yeah. Then you have got the sheeting there, but that might be useful. Oh, whoa, whoa! I know you're all thinking, don't get rid of the vines. Don't get rid of the vines. I'm sorry, but we've got to get rid of some of these vines. These are so low that every time we walk up and down. They're either knocking our hats off or hurting us. <laughs> no. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it's, uh, it's difficult. It's not con it's not know. conducive to us working. No, These this section is definitely going to have to go. So Lee's just come to switch the water back on. Yeah. And uh, the glass. I don't know if you can has see. Gone. The so, whole metre is cracked in the cold. So this is how we fill up our water flask now. Oh my goodness. Yep. What are they going to say to us now this week? Couldn't care less. This waterboard are going to... My goodness, I don't know if you can see, that's like actual cracked glass. Yeah, yeah. Although that's a bit scary seeing the water metre like that, it could be a blessing in disguise because we're desperate to get the water metres outside of the house. Because in our current house, our water meter is in a little old bathroom off of our bedroom that we haven't done up yet. So every time, and it, we we probably have to research this a bit more. Maybe we can upload the meter readings ourselves online. But currently, a lady visits every house in these villages once a month to view the meter readings herself, and she always comes bless her when husband's got his nap in the mornings or I'm just about to get him off to sleep and she rocks up and and then has to walk through our bedroom disturbing everything that we've got in the way to stop him getting to the room <laughs> to take the water meter reading and so and it would be the same here in this property you know having to come right into the house I feel like this could be an opportunity that we can say look water meter's broken if we get it reinstalled can we have it maybe sort of just somewhere maybe we build a box and we have it on the outside of the property so a you don't have to be in when they check it you know just like in the uk i think we mentioned before but we're opposite this old hotel and obviously i don't know if this was already closed down pre-pandemic obviously pandemic has really affected tourism in bulgaria and it wasn't great at the best of times in the rural areas obviously sunny beach and the old beaches are popular but the, the rural areas in Bulgaria are way way more special in our opinion but it would be wonderful if this hotel could start up again it's just the awesome views there it doesn't have a pool but it'd be such a peaceful spot so hopefully in the years to come this could bring some life back into the village. Lee found this amazing picture, he left it aside, he thought I might like it, it's like proper 50s photograph. I don't know if it's something, this is actual people that used to live here or if it's something from a magazine but I just love it, it's like something out of Singing in the Rain. So you're giving it a go? Oh! Go on. I didn't think I could do it. Go on. Do you think I could do it? Go on. No, I meant the whole thing. I'm not giving it on the ramp. Go on, give it a go. No, honestly, I'll fall over. It'd be great footage. I've never wished Hudson to be awake. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> oh blige. I'm more <coughs> worried about going through the ramp. <laughs> I'm heavier than you, so don't worry about that.
Ready? Oh. Oh, it's stuck on there. Go on. Yeah, yeah. Go on. My head with the vine. Yeah, yeah, you're good. Wait. You're good. You're Wait. good. You're good. Go on. <laughs> Last bit. Last bit. <laughs> yes. There you go. You didn't think I could do it. I did. I just didn't know how much you'd struggle. Now it's a. It's too muddy to do. It's really it? muddy there. Yeah. Which way do you want it for when you push it up there? Just, just drop it there, and we'll just carry it by hand. It's too muddy now. Yeah. yeah. Woo! Hey. <sighs>